This architecture is so radically different than any other satellite. So we set up a series of experiments and demos you know, over the course of many years. And so we got more and more confident that this thing was gonna work. We built an entire communication system on the ground just as a prototype, tested every element of it. And then we assembled it and we've tested it. The number of tests we run is on the order of hundreds more than we ran on the previous version. A lot of people in the past have used legacy hardware, but to get where we were today with the product that we have on Viasat 3, that wasn't possible. And so we designed it ourselves and had to teach ourselves how to build it, how to test it, how to integrate it. Most of the focus over the last five years has been on just trying to find those unknown unknowns and figure out what is it that we haven't thought of yet that's gonna be the barrier to making the system be what we know that it can be. We are very involved at Boeing as they integrate the satellite and been a part of things like thermal vacuum testing, acoustics testing, vibe testing, and so we've been there with them along the way. We've already proven to ourselves that the technology works. We've tested the satellite at every step of, of the process. We've simulated the space environment through thermal vacuum chamber testing. We've vibrated it, we've blasted it with sound waves. We've done everything we can to simulate both the launch and the space environment. And now we're really confident that it should work as designed. 